Hey YouTubers, Osak here, and I'm um, doing a quick follow-up uh, little report here, or review I guess you could say, on my uh, Rossi R92 45 Colt uh, carbine. Um, and today is January the 16th, 2023. And uh, what I want to do, uh, the, the follow-up on, or the review, is uh, remember I mentioned uh, the button replacement for the little annoying little flippy... Uh, add-on safety that's on the top there uh the now i've, I've been watching uh, other reviews and i have yet to see a single one of them that shows this uh button replacement installed uh for some reason they're not doing it now i have seen a lot of them uh that are going to shoot which is great because they're showing the shooting and i will too in the future but uh they uh go to shoot and click ah damn they forgot to take that safety off and that is happens over and over again uh, I did hear one uh, reviewer mention the fact that the buttons are there are out there, but they uh, still had the uh, safety on their carbine. So I just wanted to kind of follow up and show you what it looks like uh, with it installed. Also, I want to show you, of course, this is unloaded, and I want to show you what the um, little where the pin is that you drift out, just to show you how to uh, remove it. But if you'll uh, okay, you'll look right here is a little pin pinhole now that goes through through the uh, bolt and right now it's holding the little button in but uh, when the safety was on there it was holding the safety in and now you drift that out and uh, with a pin punch and um, make sure by the way to drift it from the side the right side okay where the small hole is drift it right to left because you look at this the left side at the holes a little bit bigger uh, that's because the pin is actually uh, knurled and fits in tight to that right side so you do not want to push it through that side because you might strip it out okay just a little uh, pro tip there I guess you could say um, so you take that out and uh, then when you take the uh, existing add-on safety which by the way is there because our import laws require it uh, apparently, the design of the 92 with its half cock safety is not good enough. Don't ask me why. I guess maybe they want something that actually is blocking the firing pin or something. I don't know. But this is entirely adequate for this uh, gun and has always been adequate for the 92s, uh, you know, that preceded uh, this particular iteration or the current Winchester uh, Moroku. Uh, 92s which have a tang safety okay now and they have that because for the same reason all right same just because the law so basically uh when you take out the uh the one that came on it the little safety just make sure and look for the little uh, ball bearing and also there's a spring okay that's a detente that uh, makes it go click click so uh and kind of stay in whatever position it's supposed to be in so just know that that's going to come out capture that if you want to keep that if you want to ever want to put it back in okay mine's in a bag in a box uh i'm never going to put it back in though okay because i just hate them uh the other thing i did and i want to show you is uh i did replace let's see if you can see it here i i did replace the follower magazine follower and i'm gonna to have to use another light here with a stainless steel one. Now see the below, I'm sorry, this is not going very well. See it right below the chamber there, there is a shiny metal follower instead of a green plastic follower. Okay. And I'm sorry I didn't show you that as I was <laughs> installing it because I could have shown it, to, shown it to you, but it's just a little cap kind of thing that fits on the end of the spring and uh, presents a flat uh, there it is a flat uh, surface for the around the nose of the first round that goes into the magazine to push against okay and the way that you uh, that you access that is you remove okay the uh, screw at the end of the magazine right here okay see the screw take that screw out keep your finger over this little cap because that's a plug that will come out all right and then the spring will come out and then the follower will be on the end of the spring and then you just simply uh, remove that little green plastic one 
and uh, put your new one on there. And you can get stainless steel or blued steel or even brass if you prefer. Okay, I like stainless steel. And uh, to me, that's a, a better, slicker, more reliable uh, option than having that little green plastic one, which can uh, get burred up and, you know, possibly uh, get stuck. So I just think this is more reliable, so I do it. It's not that big a deal. It doesn't cost very much, like 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, about the same as the uh, the plug that goes for the safety. So those are two modifications I've made that I wanted to share with you. I have watched uh, numerous uh, reviews. None of them had the safety button uh, switch out done. Uh, one of them talked about it, but they hadn't done it yet. So I just wanted to kind of follow up and show you how that looks. Okay. And uh, look for in the future, look for me at the range with this uh, carbine as well as my, uh, my uh, new... Uh, 45 Colt uh, Cimarron's uh, as I'm siding those in and uh, testing loads. Right now, I've, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the background here, but I just installed my uh, RCBS Rock Chucker Press again. I'm getting, you know, one thing at a time. I'm still unpacking and finding things and found some uh, brass, 44, 45 Colt brass. i got to find the bullets. I know I've got the primers now and I know where the powder is. So I'm getting close, getting there closer. So, but i got to load up some ammo and uh, then I'll be ready to find that range and, and go uh, do that. And I also have some, some other firearms, newer ones that I've have yet to uh, test the uh, the side on the sides and uh, also function and whatnot. So anyway, thanks for watching again. Uh, until next time.